Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is part two to the Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader saga. If you already watched the first part, then you know that I was smarter than a fifth grader and a sixth grader, just one. Um, but I used a lot of cheats uh, in that one. The cheats are in the game, but I had to use everything known to man to get there. Now, in this video, this is Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader with no cheats, where I attempt to go for perfection, to beat this game without any shenanigans or antics or help from these small children that are not real and just probably voice actors that are like 30, which is weird to think about. But I did my best on this one. So if you're enjoying the gaming channel content and the long form content, as always, thumbs up. Uh, I got my, my hand tat is healed officially, looking pretty nice. Um, so thumbs up the video if you're enjoying it at any point. Comment whatever makes you, you know, want to comment. Anything that I say, anything that's funny or anything that you would like to talk about would be great. I read every comment on every single video. And subscribe if you haven't. Also, when you click the subscribe button, it does a little cool, like, thing now. I don't know, like clothes and stuff pops up it's it's cool okay it's it's a don't unsubscribe and resubscribe if you have like if you first time subscribing boom give it a go i think you'll like it um but that's it enjoy the video as always follow me on twitch for more reaction content and gaming content my twitch is in the description of this video it is twitch.tv slash not ryan abe because if uh you know hey we got suspended before on this channel randomly at least then you could be on my Twitch and you know where to find me where I would be able to give updates and stuff like I did. So, all right, that is that. Enjoy the gameplay. We're always a class act here. Welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Here we go. Today's goal is to see if I can win without any cheats. I did beat the game, but with cheats. I can't use any of the kids. I can't do anything. All I can use is my brain. And is that enough? Probably not. Roll call. How many are we today? Oh, well, probably just me. Move this down a little bit. Roll call. Roll call. Please pick yourself a nice avatar. All right, are we going fussy, baby? Uh, I think we have to, right? Like we probably have to go fussy baby. Yeah. What's up, Maria Rosa? Looking great. I hope you're ready for the pop quiz. It's Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grade? There's Theodore. There's our boy Teddy. I'm Teddy, one of your two hosts for the show. Let's quickly go over how the game works. We're going to ask you 11 questions. Yeah, we know. Quiz We're already. pros already. Welcome Shut to up. First grade. How lovely to have you here. Every question here is worth. Yay! And your classmate for now. Oh, these damn be... kids, man. They need to change these kids. Woo! What we got? Ah, yeah. Ah, I'm always, always and Halima, I'm bro. Chat. Y'all, what's what is the predict right now? Choose a good subject for you. 363k on no math spelling reading all right you know what you know what okay i remember that okay Yeah. <clears throat> Kirsten, thank you for the six prime. I appreciate that very much. These are so smudgy, these glasses, dude. These are not going to last long. All right. Let's just get it over with early. You can count on this question being about counting. True or false, there are exactly four odd numbers between two and eight. Oh, no. <laughs> It's so baby. embarrassing to Choose count my right answer. Who did Your that? Answer is locked. Woo! 
The correct answer is false. Great work. You can't get you me. Get 100 points. Y'all can't get me. So, Halima, thanks for being here. Did I see Cooper Can on the ground? Can you tell us a fun fact about your favorite subject? <laughs> Drinking too much water can cause hyponatremia, which can be life threatening. The hell is he doing? A great fact. Let's move to the next question. He's a stalker. Fussy baby, let's find you a good question. And it's vocabulary, measurements, social stuff. Get to a native speaker level with this vocabulary. Question. Super confutory. The term aquatic refers to what liquid? Let's go. They're giving me layups. Soap. Soap. Water. Motor oil. <laughs> motor oil. Mo motor oil. Final Fussy answer. Baby. It's your turn to answer. <laughs> motor oil. Someone was high when they wrote that. It's now locked in. Yay! I do so, not like the way the she right said it. The right answer that. is... Is he at trees? No, he, has, he just still has them. You're correct. You get 100 points. But you've had enough of it. Oh, here she comes, Jack. Get you. ready. Here comes Fussy Baby. Hey, I'm Claudia. Your other Yo! It's time for us Don't to go throw to me off, Blondie. Second grade. I know what you're doing. This time, each question is worth 100 Blondie, points. don't even think about Let's it. Let's say hello to your new classmate and bye to the old one. Peace out. Yeah! Ah, <gasps> yay! Let's say hi to your new classmate. Oh, it's Eli. Eli. Huh? Woo! Yay! Yeah! <gasps> I'm Eli, and I'm really good at chemistry and measurement questions. You look like it. Fussy baby. Let's see what subject. Let's get are. reading out of the way. You got measurements. We have an epic tale in this literature question. In Roald Dahl's novel about Charlie, yes. what does Willy Wonka make at his factory? Oh, thank you. Dude, thank you. Automobiles. Automobiles. Chocolate. Willy Wonka and the automobile Wasabi. factory. Dude, this is the easiest one ever Pussy for second baby. grade. It's your chance to answer. Oh, chat. I might do this first try. I might win this first try. We've got it now. Fussy baby. Woo! And the actual answer is... We didn't even have to go on emote only for that one. Chocolate. You yeah. got this. You get 150 points. I might do this first try, legit. So, Eli, thank you for... Do not care, Eli, next. Fussy baby, please pick a subject for this Social question. studies, we easy. Have, What's up, Jerrica? We love people watching in this social studies question. Samurai were military nobility from which country? Uh-oh. Fussy baby, please pick an answer. No, no, no. Hate when they do this. Bro, where's where's what is this? Where's China? Is that Russia? Oh no, it's a well, it's over. Cheat off me if you need to. I can't, Eli, I can't. Where's China? Damn it, which one is China? I, I, I. Well, it was a good run. Samurai, hold on, what the? Oh no, Let's dude! Hear it one more time. Shut up. Samurai were military nobility from which country? I hate when, I hate when she repeats the question. I hate it. And I hate that the apple is, 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 like, mad. It's like, okay. Russia. 
Russia is big. I can help with this question. Eli, shut your mouth. Here's the answer. Woo! And the correct answer is... Japan. Sorry, but you chose the wrong answer. I was so Unfortunately, close. Unfortunately, you were not smarter than a fifth grader. I was so close. Literally so close. Let's I picked China. That did to the final That's score. actually not that bad. I picked China. You put those points into your progression. I was I was not far from Japan. See, everybody knows when they're but when you're in the hot seat, it's very hard. And that means Spades, Kyla, the come on. Thanks that was the warm up, warm up, warm up, warm up. That was just a warm up. I wish I could skip her grader. fucking talking. Stop. No! Come on in. Now, just pick yourself a nice avatar. You look great. Enough. I hope you're ready for a pop. We're going to ask you 11 questions. Let's get right to the I quiz. don't like the map. Welcome to first grade. It's nice to see you today. <gasps> I don't like that map. I'm never picking that again. Yeah. Hit. Fussy baby. Let's look at your choice. We're of back, chat. Don't worry about it's it. It's between. I'll cast a spell on you for this next question. The plural form of the word girl is girls. What is the plural form of the word woman? Woman's. <laughs> Woman's. Women. Wimini. <laughs> Wimini, final answer. Wimini cricket. Fussy baby. Choose your answer. I got too many Wimini. And it is locked in. Woohoo! So, the correct answer is. Wimini. Women. Ah. Nice work. I'm an ally. You get 100 points. You know what? These damn so glasses. Hi. I'm taking the glasses off. Today. Now I'm going to do better. Why don't you give us a fact about I'll yourself. let her give a fact. I want to be a marine biologist. Don't care. Fussy baby. Let's pick one of these subjects. They are? It's the thought that counts in this counting question. John arranges all his books on four shelves. If there are ten books on each shelf, what is the total number of books he has? Oh, thank God. Thank God they're the easy ones. Ten. It's three, baby. Forty. Forty. Let's go. Fussy baby. Fussy baby. What's the real answer? We got your answer. Thank you, first grade. <gasps> the right answer is... Forty. Good Yay! job. I can't believe that you samurai one was the second points. grade question. No second grader on earth knows that. And I'll put money on that. Go up to a second That's grader and say, me. show me take on a map away, where samurai people take place. Not one person in second Hi, grade will get it right. You I'm can't Teddy, tell me otherwise. Other host for the show. What's up, Kitten? It's time for questions from second grade. This Honestly, time, be, I'll be honest, chat. This question is worth 150 points. It's time to greet a new classmate. Yeah. It's going to be the ginger girl. Yay. Oh, wow. Oh, look who and it I'm is. Very good. Fussy baby, pick yourself a good subject. Spelling. It's either life science. We hope this spelling question won't spell any trouble. How many vowels are used in the spelling of the following word? Homeroom. Homeroom. Three. I'm not fucking leaving. Four. Easy. Five. Look at that, Rock. I was going to try to do that, Cap, but it went by too fast. Thanks Fussy for getting the sub. Which is the right answer? Thank you, Cap, for doing that. And we've got your answer. Woo! And the answer is... Writing down, I'm using my hand, like, doing this. Four. Too easy. You get 150 points. I don't have a pen in my hand. So... Halima, thanks so much for being I'll here. I'll give her a chance. If Can it's boring, I'll skip nice it. Fact about yourself? 
I make my own yogurt. Fussy baby. Pick a subject you're good at. Let's get social studies out of the way. You have measurements. Oh. So let's take a road trip with the city. Make question. my own yogurt. Is it always a map? Dhabi, a major city in oh. the global economy, is located where exactly? Don't make me do the map. Don't make me do the map. Fussy baby. Don't. Choose us an answer. What's with this? No second grader knows this. You can't tell me any second grader on earth in the world. Shut want. up, Alima. You can't tell me a second grader on earth knows that. You can't tell me. I actually need him to repeat the question. Abu Dhabi? Repeat the question. Now. No chance in hell any kid knows this crap. Zero. And repeat the question. I need to know what he said again, to be honest. Take it easy. It's just you and us today. Theodore, please. Please. Theodore. Oh, I can press it. Abu Dhabi, a major city in the global economy, is located where exactly? Well, I mean, I'm going to get this wrong. I'll say the question again. Abu Dhabi, huh. a major city in the global economy, is located where exactly? Y'all don't know this. Y'all don't know this. Y'all don't know this. Can I zoom in? Oh, I can. We'll say the question again. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Abu Dhabi, a major city in the global economy, is located where exactly? No, bro, I don't know. I Iran is somewhere over here. Congrats on your points, chat. We got the answer. Congrats on your points. Ah. So the answer is this one. Good try, but that's not the right answer. Unfortunately, you were not smarter than a fifth grader. So close, damn it. We'd love to see you again in our class. It's time for us to see the final scores. We hope you've it's had not some Italy. I was like an inch away from box. it. I was like an inch away. Let's add those points into your progression. I was literally like a half inch away. That's cra That's crazy. Nah, that's crazy. That's actually crazy, bro. That's that's I was one inch off, bro. That's that's bull crap. And we'll have to well. say goodbye for now. We hope you had fun. Yeah. Thanks again for joining I us. I just I deserve I deserve a point for that one. That sucks. Goofy, stop licking yourself. That's so, that's so Let's unfair, Chad. That's so here. unfair. It's, are you smarter than a fifth grader? It's time for first grade. Wow. How lovely to have you. Yay! Wow. Ah. That's And you'll get a helping hand from That's brutal. Yay! Woo. Yeah. My mom so yeah. upset. The name is Joaquin. And yeah. I can help you with math and I don't like Joaquin. Fussy baby. Please pick yourself a good subject. So, uh, I, I thought I had it, man. From our book on this literature question. 
finish this Dr. Seuss title. Got it. One fish, two fish, red fish, what? Pink fish. Goo fish. White fish. Pink fish, pause. Blue fish. Fussy baby, choose an answer. I'm reeling, I'm reeling over game. getting that last one wrong. Well, the answer is... Blue fish. Good Yay. work. You get I, I'm so pissed. Points. Drop a hi if you're in the chat, by the way. Say hi right now. So, what if you mean? haven't. Thank you for being here with us. All right, let's give him a chance. Why don't you tell us a fact about yourself? I like to make my own... Nerd. What's up, Izzy? What's up, Shawnee? Kyla, what's at? up? Is what's up, Isabella? Life science. PRW, hello. Kitten, hello. Rachel, Math. hello. Kate Taylor, good to see you. Tamara, good to see you. How you doing? Hey, Michaela. Hey, Poisonous. Good to see you. Math. Good yeah. to get this one over. What's up, Amber? You'll need change for this fractions and percents question. Which of the following is the smallest? One third. One fourth. One half. Fussy baby. Pick the right answer. <laughs> Everyone shut up. And the answer is in. Yeah. And the real answer is... One fourth. Good try. Smarter than a fifth grader. It's time for first grade. It's so nice to have you here. Every question here is worth it. Yeah! And your classmate for this grade is... I don't even care about it. Ava. Oh! Mm. Ah! Yay! Konnichiwa, eva san I really like... Fussy baby, let's take a peek at the subject. I'm getting so clean. We'll take the fast track to this direction. I have no excuse question. for that one. If you're standing on the equator, in what basic compass direction would you look in order to watch the sun rise? I might get this East. wrong. West. First grade? South. First grade? Fussy baby, do you have the answer? First grade question? If you're standing on the equator? <laughs> oh, no. You know, I'm just going to eat my yogurt. The sun rises in the west, right? <coughs> oh, my God. This is actually really embarrassing. The sun rises in the... I don't know. I, I actually don't know. I'll say the question once more. 
If your st your answer is in. Yeah. Well, the correct answer is east. Sorry, oh. but you've got the wrong answer. Fifth grader. Welcome to first grade. It's so nice to. Whoa! Ah, yeah. So. Yay! Yes! <gasps> Hi, you can call me Cat. Fussy baby, take a look at these subjects. Put your hands deep in the dirt in this plants question. I'm gonna bury myself in the dirt. True or false? An orange is a citrus. At fruit. this point, I don't know. I don't even know if that's true at this point. Fussy baby. Nothing What's is real. Right answer? Everything's fake. And it is locked in. This is the best yogurt in the world, by the way. And that makes the answer. Where's the spoon? At? True. Ah, oh, I got it. Wow, I'm a genius. 100 points. I'm a genius. So smart, so smart. Oh, here we Thanks go. For helping us. Can you tell us a fun fact on your favorite subject? Did you make that yogurt yourself? I'm not Hel I'm, Jason I'm, Nash baby. I'm not, I'm not Halima. There are life signs. But Halima made it. Measurement. Quickly save the date for this calendar. I'm getting redemption right now. Where? If Pablo begins school on September 15th and finishes school on June 15th with no time off. How many months did he go to school? Eight. Seven months. Eight months. Nine months. Eight, final answer. Fussy baby, what's your answer? We got the answer. Yeah. The actual answer is nine months. Good try, but that's not the correct one. Unfortunately, you were not smarter than a fifth grader, but we'd love to give you another chance. It's time to check out the final scores. I hope you've had a lot of fun and learned a lot. Time to add those points to your record. And it's time for the end of the show. School's yes. out. Thanks uh, again for joining us on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grade? Well, if you want a point farm, this is it. Rogue, it's time to pick yourself a nice avatar. Great choice. I hope you're ready for the pop. We're going to ask you. This is unbelievable. Ready, but you all know this already. 
It's time for first grade. How nice to have you here. Every question here is worth 100 points. Yes. And helping you out. I don't even know if I'm smarter than a fetus at this point. Yay! Yeah. Ah. Woo! My name is Eli, and I can help you with chemistry and measurement questions. Fussy baby, here are the choices for this question. Taste the fruit of this plant's question. What is the term for the tough protective covering of trees? Bark. Woof. Arf. Fussy baby, pick the correct one. Wolf. Your answer is locked. Yeah. The real answer is actually bar. At this point, I don't well, even know duh. how I'm gonna get anything right. You get one hundred points. Did he say duh. So, Eli, thank you for joining us. Let's give him Can a chance. Tell everyone a nice fact about yourself. I've never left the country, but loser. Fussy baby, pick a subject for the next question. We've got vocabulary. It's on the tip of our tongue with this vocabulary question. By definition, a buck, a doe, and a joey comprise a family of what animal? Deer. Walrus. Kangaroo. Oh, shit. I thought a joey Fussy was... Baby. Pick an answer for us. I thought a joey was a kangaroo. But a doe is a deer. Well, it's gotta be a... It's gotta be a deer, but I thought joey was kangaroo. We got your answer. Yay! Well, the actual it's answer It's gotta be is... deer. Kangaroo. Good try, but that's the wrong answer. What?! Unfortunately, you were not smarter than Doe, a deer, a buck is a deer. What kind of question was that? Wait, what? Let's take a look at the final Buck and story. a doe is a deer. I hope you've learned a lot and had a lot of fun. Am I am, am I is my nuts? Let's take a look at all a the A doe you is heard. not a kangaroo. Hold on. Hold on. It just unlocked something new. That's crazy. Nah, that's crazy. Nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's actually insane. They tricked me on that one. They dead ass tricked me. Everybody, how many of you would have put deer? Be honest. Go a deer, buck deer, deer. Nah, that sucks. That's Yay, all for yes. now. Woo. Thank you for joining us on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I'm not a kangarooologist. Listen to us. I can't cheat. I'm looking to chat. Let's see what we can teach you. I'm not looking to chat. Kids. Are you smarter than a? Welcome to first grade. Well, congrats yeah. on the predicts. Just keep your voting no. This grade will be. Get your points up. Yes. Just vote no. Oh. I will not do anything. Yay! Aloha. Oahu Kai. I got Oahu, I don't care. Fussy baby. Go and pick one of these. At subjects. least I can get the reading one right. And it's life's it's story time in the next literature question. True or false? Eric Carl's classic oh, no. book follows the exploits of a very hungry rabbit. Who's Eric Carl? Fussy baby. What's the answer? Who is this? Who's Eric Carl? Who is this? I put and true. You got your answer. It's gonna be Woo! false. It's gonna be well, false. The right answer is. It's gonna be false. False. Eric Carl's classic children's book follows the.
pick a subject for this question. We have life science. Be sure to use it in a sentence for the spelling question. How many vowels are in the name of the following number? Zero. 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 One. Two. Hey, Jed. Fussy baby. Pick out your answer. I want to get it's to third grade. <gasps> so, the real answer is... Two. Ah! That means I'm depressed. you get 100 points. So, Isa, thanks for coming Let's to give class. him a chance. Can you give everyone a fact about yourself? I like to watch soccer with my father. Yeah, that's chill. Fussy baby, it's time to pick yourself a subject. We've got Woo! life science. Put away your dictionary. How are you losing, Channel Point? Just bet against me. The term aquatic refers to what liquid? Yes, good. Give me the re give me the repeats. Motor so, oil. Water. Give me the repeats. Fussy baby. Give us your answer. Give me every repeat question. I do not care if this is how I win. And the answer is in. Ah! And the right answer is water. Too yeah. easy. This might take you me two and a half weeks. Points. If you're here and you've joined in the last 20 minutes, say hello. I need your, I need you. But I legit need your energy. Show. Please say Take hi. Away, Claudia. I need you more than ever. I'm not going to lie. Hi, I'm Claudia. We'll say bye to your old classmate and... Serious. Woo! I need you bad. Yes. Not like that, but... Hey. Need... Oh, the ginger finally. Fussy baby. Pick yourself a good subject. It's either... Life These science, all suck. Measurements. Social hi Mel, hi Jennifer, hi Rita, hi Jackie, hi Kat, Macha, hi Macha, Callie, how you doing? What's up, Morgan? Which of the following is the longest span of time? What's up, Jules? Two decades. Twenty-three years. I don't deserve an eye break. Thirty-six months. Fussy baby, which is the answer? Here's the answer. Yes! That means the answer is... 23 years. Good yes. job! You get 100 points. At least Haley believes in me. Points. What's up, Emily? So, Haley, thank I'm you trying to get the hard ones, today. the hard subjects out of the way first. Fussy baby, go ahead and oh, pick a subject. No. Oh, no. They are? <laughs> this is terrible. Studies, math. Measurement is the worst three. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. Get your rulers out. <laughs> it's over. Nah, it's over. If Jenna's coin collection weighs 140 ounces, <laughs> how much is that in pounds? First of all, how big of a coin collection Fussy is that? Baby, please pick your answer. Fussy baby. I have to. I hate when they make me do this. Eight? Eight pounds. I can help with this. Shut question. up. It's in this. It's in this range. It's either eight and a half, eight point eight seven five, or nine. So that goes into it. Eight and a half. Oh, it's one of these three. I just can't do the math in my head. I need a calculator. Don't worry. Take as long yeah, as Yeah, I know, need. bitch. Haley's la laughing over there. Nine. 
We've got it now. Nice. Yes. The real answer is actually 8.75 oh. pounds. Yes. That means you get 150 points. That's the first good thing I've done all night. It's time to look at the points. That's the first. That's honestly. Th shout out, Lee, bro. You got everything right. Holy crap. But that's the, that's the first good thing I've done all night. It's yours now, Teddy. Oh, my God. It's social stu Rita's it's my I'm turn. so scared Tonight of social club. studies. Welcome to third grade. Every question is now worth 200 points. It's time for a new classmate. Give me life sciences or some bullshit. See you later. Honestly, Haley was cool. Yes. Yay. <gasps> Let's meet your new classmate. Eli. Why am I? Why am I watching? I, I don't. Yes. Need, I can't even use them. My name is. <laughs> Fussy baby. Pick a good subject for the question. Oh Jesus Christ! It is foreign language. Foreign language. <laughs> Life science. Social studies. Reading. Get your green thumb ready for this plants question. <laughs> True or false? Cocoa beans, from which chocolate is made, originated in Asia. Oh, wait. Fussy baby. I think I know this. Please pick an answer. False. We got your answer. Yeah. So, the right answer is... False. Yeah. You got this. You get 200 South points. America, baby. So, Eli, thank you for coming. Come on. Can you tell us a fact about your favorite subject? Oh my god. Glass is an amorphous solid. That means What a nerd. Fussy baby, go ahead and pick a nice subject. You've got foreign language. Oh no. Social studies. I got to go spelling. Math. Spelling. Let me spell it out for you with this spelling question. How many times does the letter I appear in the following word? Indispensable. Indispensable. Uh? Two. Three. Four. Never heard this word in my life! Fussy baby, it's your turn to answer. Who, who's ever said the word indispensable? IMD. I, dispensable. Cheat off me if you need to. Eli, shut your mouth. Dispensable has. Okay, wait, I think it's two. If I'm not overthinking this, or is it three? Wait. Ibble. Ibble is either Ibble or Able. And this is gonna it's either two or three. It's either the weekend or it's two. Ibble? Dispense Ibble. Dispense Able. Dispensable. Dispensable. It's two. Oh, I think I'm wrong. We've got it now. Yeah. So the real answer is two. Nice Woo! work. You get two hundred points. That's enough for me. It's your turn, Claudia. Almost there. Let's challenge your brain in fourth grade. Oh. Every question here is worth 250 points. There's going to be a new class. Got some people paid so out we'll big say time. Bye for now. Take care. Yay! Ah! <gasps> yes! And helping you for this grade is. Okay. Yeah. Woohoo! So, the name's Kai. We know who I you are. I can help with. Fussy you want 190k? That's crazy. That's actually there crazy. There are 
foreign language. Social Oh, studies. no, it's over. It was a good run, chat. Math. It was a good run. This was a this was fun while it lasted. I am not picking social studies. Don't even try. It's got to be reading. Y'all want me to lose. Y'all, I've never got a social studies question right. It's got to be reading. It has to. We'll do it by the book. It's got to be reading. It has to. An orphan joins a gang of pickpockets in the novel Oliver Twist by what author? Oh my God, I know this. It's Dickens. Dickens. Yes! I read this. Mark Twain. It's Dickens. Dickens Pants. Jane Austen. It's Dickens. I've read this when I was younger. It was a great book. Fussy baby. Do you have the answer? It's Charles Dickens. Your answer is in. Yeah. Well, the right answer is... It's, I know I'm right. I know I'm right. Charles Dickens. Yeah. Yay. You get 250 points. Oh my God, I'm cooking with oil and gas. So, Kai, thanks for helping us right, today. Let's give her a chance. Can you tell us a nice fact about yourself? I'm certified as a junior diver. I got a life... Fussy baby. More of a brag. Your subject for oh, this Jesus Christ. So it's foreign language, social studies, math, measurements. Chad, it's over. Hey, but I did good. I did good. I did damn good. And I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. I did damn good. Language is easy, yeah. Okay, Sammy. Polyglot's time to shine during this next question. In Navajo, the month of Nilch Itso is named for freezing winds that blow in that time of year. What is the month in English? Sammy, you're dead to me. Fussy baby, what's the real answer? In Navajo, the month of Nilch Itso is named for freezing winds that blow in that time of year. What is the month in English? Okay, my guess is December, January, February. No one's keeping time, so take it easy. In Navajo, the freezing month of winds. Nilch Itso is named for freezing winds that blow in that time of year. What is the month in English? January. And we got your answer. Woohoo! And the answer is December. Good try, but that wasn't the right answer. Unfortunately, you are not smarter than a fifth grader, but we'd love to see you again in our class. It's time to check out the final scores. You did great, but there's always more to learn. Time to add up all the points that were earned. That was it. That was the one. I was two away. Uh, that one hurts. I was so close. That makes me sad. And that's the end of the show, folks. Wow. School Yay. Out. Thanks Diana. again for joining us on Are You Smart? Hey, you know, let's change grader. Fussy Baby and let's see. Let's see if that'll change the vibes. 
Wow, I thought I had it. Hello. I thought I had it. I want I want a hell of a class. run there. It's time to pick yourself a nice avatar. Looking great. I hope you're ready for a pop quiz. It's Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? We're going to ask you 11 We'll skip the instructions. Welcome to first grade. It's nice to see you today. Every question here is worth 100 points. I'm defeated. <gasps> ah. Yay! Your classmate for this grade will be... Blue! Yeah! <gasps> yes! Hey, my name's Haley. Nice, Mom. Please pick a good subject. There is... Social studies. Ooh. Math. No weeds in the garden of this We're gonna VIP. Which of these statements... Okay. At least something good has come from this. Done. It's true about traditional Christmas trees. They are evergreens. They are citrus trees. They have broad leaves. I don't know. Evergreens, I would assume. Nice mom. Please pick your answer. Nice mom. What? Oh. Your answer is locked. Yes. I'm so upset I so, lost that last one. I thought I had it. Answer is. I legit thought I was gonna win. They are evergreen. I'm really upset. Yes. Well done. You get 100 points. So, Haley, thanks for coming today. Why don't you Let's give, give her a, nice a chance to give a good yourself. fact. Last year, I read one book a week. Yeah, good for you, Brainiac. Nice, Mom. Pick a good mm -hmm. subject for yourself. I'll bet my bottom dollar. So, on thank you for the follow. Question. If Zack breaks his piggy bank and finds one dollar and five cents worth of nickels, how many nickels does he have? Eleven. Sixteen. Twenty-one. Nice, Mom. Twenty-one. Pick an answer for us. Twenty-one. We got the answer. Yes. Well, the correct yeah, answer is. 21. I'm cooking. Oh, right. you get Ooh, I can join a raffle points. finally. But it's time we swap hosts. Say hello to. Say hello to. Hey, I'm Teddy, your other host. It's time to say bye to our old classmate. Oh my god, I won! Bye Points! Bye for now. Oh my god, yes. okay good, I can finally yes. gamble. Yeah, my name is Joaquin. My first win in weeks. Nice mom, choose one of these subjects. Now it's social studies, vocabulary, math. Lot. Revisit your lexicon for this vocabulary question. Which of the following is a homophone for the word a what? one? One. We are allies. What are you talking about? Lost. Now. Nice mom. Choose an answer. Teddy. Teddy. One would be one. Thanks. It's now locked in. Yeah. And the correct answer is one. Okay, good. You're correct. You get one hundred. Teddy, I didn't know you points. were like that, man. You messed up. So, Joaquin, Homer thanks Homer. for coming to class. Can you tell he us? He has the worst facts. Watch this dumbass fact. The Babylonians had a measure. Boring. Yawning. Nice Please pick one of these subjects. Oh no. It's between. Social studies, math, get buried in the sand in this time question. Three hours is what fraction of a day? Fuck. Nice, mom. What's the right Shit. answer? 
Oh, shit. Okay, three goes on to three, four, five, five. Yeah, but be honest, I don't think I'm gonna get this one. What's up, Nelly? I'm not fucking leaving. Marissa, thank you for the prod, Dad. Marissa. Let's repeat the question. Three hours yeah, is thank you what for the follow. fraction of a day. Three hours is what fraction of the day? Three times eight. Eight, sixteen, twenty-four. I think it's one eighth. I'll be actually proud if I get this Here's one. I suck at math. Please, please be Yay. right for once. The actual answer please be is right, Ryan. Of yes. Day. Okay, I'm honestly dead ass proud of myself. Good work. You get okay. Okay, I'm proud of myself. Points. What's up, Carmen? Thank you, Pia. Let's take a look at the points. Good job. You've got them all right. Okay, I'm proud. I'm um, my Philadelphia but Public that's School. That's enough from me. Take it away, Claudia. I like that plant. Hello again. We'll say goodbye to our old classmate and greet a new one. Hey, Taryn. Goodbye. Uh, oh, hell. Yeah. Weirdo. Goodbye. Uh. All right, chap. Third grade. Come on. Yeah. Who believes? Who believes? Hi, I'm Isa. One if you I'll believe, two if you don't. Vocabulary and grammar. One if you believe, two if you don't. Be honest. Don't lie nice to me. Nice mom. It's time for you to pick a subject. You have far and A lot of ones, we'll baby. Some fun guys. In this life and threes. Question. Thank you so much. True or false? In humans, a father's chromosomes determine whether a baby will be a boy or a girl. Isn't it his jizz? Nice, mom. Choose us an answer. Oh no. Hold on, I need to think. Father's chromosomes. Yes, true. I, it's got to be true, right? Chromosomes. I can help if you want. I can help if you want. True. And the answer is in. Yay! And that makes the answer... True. Yes. You're correct. You get 200 points. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. So, Isa, thanks for helping us out. Why don't you tell us something about yourself? I'm a bitch. I'm currently writing... Nice, Mom. Let's pick one for the next question. We're spelling, pick damn it. Foreign language. Give me we spelling. Have a tongue twister for this vocabulary. Give me question. spelling. Please. True or false? Mia says that her bag weighs a ton, which is an example of hyperbole. Huh? Nice, Mom. Which is the answer? Hold on. Her bag weighs a ton. I believe that a hyperbole is exaggerated. So if that's the case, her I bag weighs a ton. Want. If that's the case, if it's exaggerated, then that means her bag weighs a ton would be a hyperbole. Or am I thinking of... No, I think that's true. I'm not going to overthink it. I think I got and this one. it is locked in. Claudia, Whoa. don't fuck with me. The right answer is... I'm sick to my stomach. True. Oh my god, yeah, I'm what? on fire. I am points. on fire. But that's enough from me. It's your turn, Teddy. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna throw up. Get ready now. 
It's going to get tougher. Drop a in high the in the chat grade. if you haven't said hello Every yet. We're on fourth grade of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I'm trying to do this without we'll any cheats. It has gone bad. Hope you're doing well. Say hi, Take though, if you're here for the first time or if you haven't said anything today. I need a little break. You know, I'm going to take a break to have people. Let me take a little break. I'm doing really well. I think I can do this. What's up, bro? How you doing? Susanna, hello. Angel, baby, Shay, how you doing? What's up, Shelly? Good to see you. Liv, hello. Good night, Lulu. Mackenzie, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Spring, hello. Olivia, hello. Thank you for the first time chat, Mackenzie. Ashley Juarez, great to see you. Lavender, how are you today? Lulivi, hello. Hope you're doing well. Jasmine, welcome in, Jasmine. Uh, you are in here tonight when we did the spin wheel, and I won, Jasmine. Thank you for the three. I appreciate it. Layla, thank you for the 31. I appreciate you very much. Thank you for the resub. Shakela, how you doing? Hello. Jordan, good to see you. Marissa, hello. Sammy25, Olivia, Missy. Pia Sophie, how are you? Good to see you. Carla, hello. Brooklyn, how you doing? Good to see you. Thank you, Kyla. I appreciate the support. Yeah, y'all got, damn, y'all got destroyed in points. RIP. Thank you, Al. This is, this is comeback season. I feel good. This feels good. All right, here we go. We're back. Give me, give me spelling. Halima's energy is all. Nice mom. Let's pick yeah, a spelling. The yes. Pick a between. Christopher with the honey. ten. Thank you. Thank you, Christopher. How many times does the letter E? Thank you for the, the ten. Word. Delicatessen. Delicatessen. How many times does the letter E? Four. Okay, I'm from the East Coast. Hold on, I think Five. I got this. Okay, so delicatessen nice is deli. Mom. What's the answer? Delicatessen is D E L I. Della. Ka. Tessen. Three. Your answer is locked. <gasps> and the actual answer is. Three. East Coast, stand well up. Done. East Coast, stand up. East Coast, stand up. So, Halima, thank you for being here. Why don't you tell everyone a fact about yourself? My absolute favorite thing to eat is an Alfonso mango. Excellent I love mangoes. Fact. Let's check the. I love mangoes. Nice mom. I cook Choose the right subject for you. Yeah. Now it's. Foreign language. Oh no. Social studies. Math. Measurements. You know what? I'm gonna do foreign language. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get redemption. This is where we lost last time. This is where we lost last time. This is where we lost. In Spanish, Sabado refers to which day of the week? Oh no. Nice mom. Oh, What's no. your answer? Sabado. Okay. Sabado. How do you sp In Spanish, sábado refers to which day of the week? Not Monday, it's not Tuesday. It's either Saturday or Sunday. Saba, sa. It's either obviously Saturday or it's tricking me and it's Sunday. Here we go. Take as long as you need. Here we go. It's this is the bullshit. Us. January, December is going to get me again. Sabato. Let me let me see. Sabato. Sunday. S U N D A Y. Oh, it has the same amount of letters as Sunday. S U N D A Y. Ooh. Let me repeat the question. It has the same amount of letters in as Sunday. Spanish, Saturday, Sabado Sunday, Sabado. Sabado refers to which day of the week? Yeah, I think it might be Sunday. Oh my god. I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna go with Saturday. Ooh. 
It's now locked in. <gasps> that means the answer is Saturday. Oh! Good work. You get two hundred and fifty points. Oh it's time God! For look at the points. Oh God! You're doing incredible. Good job. But it's time we swap hosts. Say hello, Claudia. Oh my God! How time flies. You're doing great. Oh my it's God! It's time for fifth grade. Every question is now worth 300 points. Oh my God. We'll say hi to our new classmate and goodbye to the old one. Oh man. Good luck. Ah. Huh? Yeah. And you'll be getting help from Kai. Okay. Yeah. Can't do it. Ah. First time in fifth Yo, grade today. First time, help? baby. I can help with the world geography. Nice mom. Please pick a nice subject. Is it social studies? Reading. Oh, foreign no. language? Oh, no one's boy. cooking the books on this literature question. The original novel Frankenstein was composed in the early 19th century by what female British writer? Mary Shelley. Emily Bronte. Oh, it's fun, chat. Daphne du Maurier. <laughs> wait, wait, a, hey, wait a fun time, chat. Nice mom. Choose your answer. I have no idea. I have a one in three guess. Mary Shelley, Emily Bronte, Daphne de Maurier. Du Maurier. I don't know. I mean, I Let seriously... Let me read back the question. That's not going to help, sweetie. The original novel, Frankenstein, was composed in the early 19th century by what female British writer? Mary Shelley, Emily Bronte, Daphne du Maurier. Mary Shelley sounds like a fake name, and I bet you that's going to be the answer. Or no, British... British writer... Bronte... Mary. Mary Poppins this is British. Sure is difficult. Yeah, no shit, Kai. Mary Poppins was British. I have a 33% chance. I'm going to go Mary Shelley. GG's, chat. And it is locked in. GG's. So the answer is. GG's. Mary Shelley. Good job. Yes. You get 300 points. for being here with us. Can you tell us all a fact about yourself? I once saw a whale shark in the wild. It was very cool. What a good oh, fact. That was a total you guess. Gotta check the next question. Oh my god, I'm too away. I'm actually so scared. Here are your choices for this question. That was embarrassing? How? Social studies. I don't know who the Bar hell that is. Math. Life science. I thought that was good. I'm not a big reader, my friends. I'm a fucking streamer, okay? I dropped out of college. Let's see what you Just can Because y'all are all geniuses. Which of these is an example of a non-vascular plant? Oh no. Clover. Moss. Fern. Oh no. Nice mom. Pick out your answer. Okay, I actually think it's moss because fern and clover. Like moss is the obvious one out. Moss is different texture. Vascular. No, I think it's moss. I think I'm going to be right. Clover and fern. I'll read the question again. 
Which of these is an example of a non vascular plant? Clover, moss, fern. I think it's moss. We got the answer. <gasps> well, the actual answer is. Please be right. Moss. Oh my god, I'm doing so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. But you've had enough of me. Go for it, Teddy. Let's go. We're in sixth grade. This only is it. The it's one question. question left. Karen, no. One question oh god. Oh god. It's worth. Oh god. Hundred points. Oh god, we'll I'm gonna say goodbye to your classmate now, because it's all up to you. Ugh, you can do it. This is it, chat. This is it. If I get this right, I've won without cheating. Nice, Mom. Oh Here no! You've got social studies, no. foreign language, math, no. measurements. No, why these? No. Or worst, I'm not picking math. I'm not picking math. I think I'm gonna have to go foreign language. I'm not picking math, and I'm not doing the map shit. I'm not good at math. I think I think foreign language. Oh my god, is the last question. It's all going to be hard. I got to go up my gut. I've been picking everything. Oh my gosh, the last question. I'm like actually nervous. question you got it it's time to find out if you're really smarter please. than a fifth grader please meaning no troubles the phrase hakuna matata originally comes from what east african language oh, yoruba no. amharic swahili nice mom it's your chance to answer oh no Okay, I got a 33% chance. I got a 33% chance. Hakuna Matata, it means have a fucking wonderful day, right? My gut is going Swahili. Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pass out. Re repeat. Meaning no trouble. No trouble. The phrase Hakuna Matata originally comes from what East African language? Yoruba, Amharic, Swahili. Amharic doesn't sound Either Yoruba or Swahili. Oh my god, I'm gonna pass out. Either X or A. My gut says Swahili. Swahili. Got your answer. And the right answer is Swahili. Too easy. You get 500 points. It's time for us to see the final scores. 
Congratulations! Oh my god! Yo! Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't believe it! Take a look at what you've just got. Holy shit! I'll take the yo! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm stunned! I just beat it without cheats! Everybody, yo in the chat right now! Yo in the chat! Oh my god, my heart is beating so fast. Oh my god, my heart is beating so fast. Oh my god. It's like through my chest. And we'll have to say goodbye for now. Thanks for Holy shit. I'm genuinely stunned. I can't believe it. I'm so proud of myself. Crawford, I appreciate you, brother. Wow, I just beat the game without cheating. That was so hard. Holy crap.